Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the virtual open day for Windsor College. My name is Amanda Down, and I'm the principal for the sixth form provision of the Windsor Forest Colleges Group, which includes Windsor College and Strode College in Egham. I'm joined today by my vice principal, Karen Griffiths, who is on the chat to answer your questions, and by Fiona Carthy and Claire Rogers, who are part of our marketing team here at the college. We are delighted to be here and to be talking to you this morning about our sixth form provision. Sixth form colleges are special places. They are unique because of what they offer to students that differs from what is available at school sixth forms. Sixth form colleges are specialists in post-16 education, which means that not only are we able to offer a wide range of subjects, choices for students to choose from, but the ability to mix and match those subject choices, supported by staff who are specialists in sixth form curriculum and in supporting students and enabling them to achieve their ambitions and their goals. I'm delighted at the range of facilities on offer at the college and by the huge range of subjects. So whether your passion lies with fashion and interiors, performing arts, creative media, whether in fact you're a scientist and aiming for veterinary medicine or dentistry, whether your interest lies with philosophy, criminology, law, psychology, or maybe it's English, or perhaps what you're interested in is sports science, health and social care, there is something here for everyone at the college. We're delighted by the fact that our pass rates, our high grades continue to improve and that only serves to underline the fantastic work done by the staff here at the college to support students. We absolutely understand that for students moving from school to sixth form can be a challenging process and the fact that we are specialists enables us to make sure that students are supported fully all the way through that. As part of our facilities here at the college, we have introduced an Aspire group for those students who are thinking about applying to Oxford, Cambridge or the top Russell Group universities. For those students who are interested in applying to do medicine, veterinary medicine, dentistry at university, there is an additional process to go through. And here at the college, we offer the support and the guidance that students need, both for early applications to university and in preparing for those interviews and additional tests that they may have to undertake as part of that. Our stretching challenge goes beyond this group, however, as all students will benefit from the progress and support here at the college. I'm delighted that our hard work, that our endeavours were supported and validated by our Ofsted inspection at the end of 2019. It found our provision to be good and underlined everything that we already know about the college here at Windsor. That the facilities, that the teaching, learning and assessment are good and that our students benefit from specialist staff who know and understand their subjects but most importantly what it takes to be successful at post-16 study. So why choose sixth form at Windsor or Strades? First of all it's the 100% A-level pass rate at Windsor. It's the 77.6% high grades A star to C, an increasingly improving figure. But more than that, it's the personalised support. It's the ability to mix and match programmes. It's the additionalities that go around that. And it is that specialism. We are delighted that that specialism enables our students to go on to fantastic destinations across the country. And on the screen in front of you, you will see two of our superstars from this year, Nathan and Katie, who have gone on to do amazing things. Nathan, who's gone on to study medicine, and Katie, who's gone on to study maths. But there are many more faces behind those two here at the college who progress on to fantastic destinations, whether that's further study here at the college or at university, whether that's higher apprenticeships or whether that's actually progressing straight into employment. And our aim here at the college is to ensure that every single one of our students is supported to achieve their goals because they are individuals and we understand that each one of them will have a different journey during their time here with us. At the college, we offer a range of internal opportunities for our students. 
that enable them to stay with us to gain a foundation year experience, often very much what some of our students need. At Windsor, that provision is very much based within the creative arts. So whether that's within media studies, performing arts, or art and design. But across the college group, we have a range of other opportunities for our students, enabling them to take some stepping stones towards their final goals. I've already talked about the fact that our programme of support for students goes beyond that delivered within the curriculum and content for their subjects. Grades are absolutely vital, and we understand that they are the pivotal point for students in helping them to go on to be successful. However, we also understand that it is everything that sits beneath that. It is the help that students gain to help them progress successfully from GCSE on to level five study. So whatever that might be for students, and that will occur at different points for them. We understand that actually this is the most significant point of education for students, and yet it's the shortest period of time. Primary school is seven years, secondary is five, and yet post-16 is two years or 18 months in reality without holidays. Mm. And it's really important that students are supported to do the very best that they can. The next stage for you is about choosing your subjects and about thinking really carefully about what those will be. At GCSE, you will be studying somewhere between eight and 10 different subjects. At post 16, that shrinks down to just three for the majority of our students. So it is really, really important that you choose that carefully. For every hour that you do in the classroom, you will be expected to do the same outside of the classroom. And that's what we call guided study. It is helping you to bridge that jump between GCSE, where it is 90% teacher and 10% students to further study at university or beyond, which is what the majority of our students are aiming for, where it is 10% teacher, lecturer and 90% student. And one of the things we specialise here at the college is helping our students to become independent learners, helping them to gain the skills that they need to remain self-motivated, resilient people who can go out into the world and be successful. As part of that study programme, we have a core studies provision that is the holistic overview. But we also offer specialist career support here at the college and a wide enrichment programme. So what do you need to join us here at Windsor College? Five or more GCSEs at grade four or above qualifies you for our A-level programme of study. But please do check the individual entry criteria for many of our subjects here because they will have specific entry criteria, particularly around English, maths and science. Four or more GCSEs at grade four or above qualifies you for our level three BTEC programme of study. And we are really delighted that we have that huge range of BTECs on offer here at the college. If you are unsuccessful in gaining those four GCSEs, we do have a small range of level two foundation programmes that enable students to spend a year consolidating their grades before they move on to a level three programme of study here with us at the college. I'm sure you're aware that all A-level subjects are now two-year linear courses with assessment based at the end of their second year. Level three BTEC courses are also similarly two-year linear courses, so students are enrolled onto a two-year programme of study. Another reason for thinking very carefully about your subject choices. Level two and level three BTEC courses also now include an externally assessed unit of work. For some subjects, that is quite literally an examination. For others, it's what's called a controlled assessment, where you will have a certain number of hours to prepare and then a certain number of hours in which to complete a set task. I've already said that the majority of our students will have a study programme that is made up of three main courses. However, for those students who come to us with half or more of their GCSEs at grade seven or above, we will discuss, if it's appropriate, a four course programme. 
we would urge all students to think very carefully about this and the reasons for choosing that. Universities will only make their offers based on three good A-level grades or the equivalency in BTECs. So it's a case of thinking very carefully about why you want to do four. Consider the amount of work that you will need to do and consider the way in which your subjects fit together. Here at the college, we also offer what's called the extended project qualification, which students can add to their main programme of study in either their first or second year. This is the equivalency of half an A-level and carries the same UCAS points and offers a fantastic opportunity for students to demonstrate a whole range of skills that may not necessarily be explicit within their programme of study. More importantly, it offers students the ability to demonstrate an interest in a particular subject so that if they are applying to university or for further study or an apprenticeship that is a niche subject, this enables them to demonstrate further those skills of research, analysis, evaluation and the ability to write an extended piece of writing. All of our students are now required to undertake an industry placement or work experience as part of their programme study. And when students join us, join us, we will talk more with them about what that involves. So the most important part, because this is what students need to really, really think very carefully about. When choosing your subjects, think really carefully about what it is that you want to do in the future. What is it that you're interested in? Being interested and passionate about something is halfway there to being successful. It will motivate you and get you out of bed on a cold, wet January morning when it's dark and miserable. And actually staying in bed under the duvet is far more appealing. That's not going to help you to be successful. Full attendance, full engagement is what we need. And so it's really important that you choose the subjects that are going to help you to do that. Think about what you enjoy. Think about what you're good at. Think about what's going to be needed to help you to progress onto the next step. Some apprenticeships, some further areas of study will require you to have set subjects. So please do do some research. Please talk to the people around you. If you haven't yet had the opportunity to attend one of our open evenings, please do join us in February when we will be open here at the college to come and talk to the staff and to our students who will be able to give you more information about our courses, but also to tell you what it's really like to study here at the college. Please do talk to the people around you that you have at the moment, to mum, to dad, they will have some good advice to give you. Please think about which subjects work well together. And when you come to an interview with us, do talk to your interviewer who will be able to give you specialist interview and guidance advice on your next steps. Please don't worry if you don't have the rest of your future mapped out. Most people don't, and it really isn't that important. But what is important is that you think very carefully about what you want to do. Please don't choose something because your best friend is doing it. It's never a good idea and doesn't lead to success. And please don't choose something because you think it's going to be easy. Unfortunately, level three study is meant to be challenging. There are going to be difficulties. So please think very carefully. Applying to us at Windsor will give you that holistic overview. It isn't just about your curriculum, it's about all the additionalities. It's about the core studies, it's about the support on offer here through our specialist learning support team, our careers advisors, the various workshops and events that are run throughout the academic year to help our students be successful and to achieve. We are a specialist sixth form provider and as such we are ideally placed to ensure that every single one of our students receives the support that they need to enable them to be successful. Here at the college we're delighted by the wide range of opportunities on offer to our students so whether your delight is with performing arts, whether you're a future chess master or whether you actually just would like to get involved with our very active student union who run a number of student societies then please that's something for you to consider. Our curriculum is supported by a whole range of trips and visits and competitions that take place. Our fashion design and interior design 
students are successful year on year at their engagement with national competitions. Our performing arts students go on to fantastic things and again their performances are outstanding. They're just a few of the things on offer. Our scientists again are exemplary in engaging with the science olympiads and our maths students with the national maths challenge. So whatever your delight is, there is something here for you. We're delighted to be able to offer guaranteed applicant status to all students applying to us from the schools that are featured on the screen. This means that we will prioritise your application and guarantee you an interview as soon as possible. Please don't worry if your school is not listed on the screen. We will still process your application and interview as soon as we can. But obviously, we would encourage you to get your application into us as soon as possible, particularly if you are applying for our high applicant uh, interested subjects such as criminology, psychology. They are particularly important to get your applications in early form. So what happens now? Well, we would advise you to look on our website to do your research about the subjects that you are interested in and to put in an application to us as quickly as you can. We will then process that application and invite you to an interview. At the moment, our interviews are still taking place via phone, but we are hoping to bring applicants in for face to face interviews as soon as possible. We will then discuss with you your programme of study and talk you through which subjects fit well together for your desired outcomes and what the specific entry criteria are for those subjects. Hopefully, we will then make you an offer and you will be able to accept that offer. We will then keep in touch with you across the rest of this year, inviting you into various events that will be taking place, including uh, any performances, exhibitions, or events such as our HE and other HE providers events that will be taking place in the new year. You will then get your GCSE results at the end of August, and hopefully those will enable you to join us and become part of the Windsor College family. We are a specialist sixth form based here at Windsor, and we are really proud of our community and of our continuing improvements here at the college. I hope that you have found this morning's information useful. I'm online to answer any questions that you may have after this, but please, I would encourage you to come and join us at the open evening in February and come and talk to myself and to the staff and the students and find out more about the fantastic offering here at Windsor College. Thank you very much for listening this morning. Hi Amanda, thank you for that. That was, that was uh, really useful and helpful. Um, we've got lots of questions coming in on the chat and Karen is her fingers, her <laughs> fingers are on fire, on. typing away. But I'm just going to run through a few of them just in case people aren't seeing Absolutely. the answers and you can give a little bit more context, I think. Absolutely. Um, so first of all, um, people are asking how often do you have to be in college? Okay, so obviously you are a full-time student with us at the college. So if you apply to the college, you are a full-time student. And we would always encourage students to think of it as that. We don't run hours as you would have at school. So we don't have a set start time in the morning um, or a set finish time for students. Our college day runs from nine till quarter past four and students timetables will be variable depending on their subject choices. But most students can expect to be in five days a week. It might not be for a full day, but they can expect to be in five days a week. OK, um, that's fantastic. Um, lots of questions about how to apply and when to apply. OK, so you can apply online. I think we do have somebody from admissions on the line this morning. Not, not today, no. Not today. OK. All right. So the application is an online application that you do via our website. If you are having any difficulties with that, please do get in touch. Um, and we would encourage you to apply as soon as possible. Uh, we have a number of subjects that get oversubscribed and therefore we would encourage you to apply as 
quickly as possible. Um, we will obviously, we will process those applications as quickly as possible. Uh, we are encouraging people really by April at the very latest to get your applications in to guarantee your subject choices, um, particularly, as I said, with some of those really high interest subjects. Great, thank you. And just on that, with the application process, um, yes. we will be sending you out um, a link to a how to apply video, um, just so that you can follow that yourself. But just basically, you do need to just select your subjects, add them to your basket, and then click apply. You will then be taken to an online application form to complete. Um, if you're doing A-levels, you will be asked to choose three if you want to choose a BTEC and an A level, um, occasionally the website has a little wobble and it asks you to add a couple more A levels in than you perhaps want to do. For, to, for now, we're working on fixing that. Just pop another couple in and, and get your application into we and we'll pick up the actual subjects at interview. Yeah. Yes, please don't worry about getting your subject choices completely correct on your application form. Um, we will always discuss those with you at interview. Inevitably, some students have changed their minds or actually in discussion at interview, will think about other subjects that they maybe haven't considered before. So please do, don't worry so much about that, but it is really important that you, you get your application in. As Fiona said, it's about the three courses that you put into your basket, but we will discuss those with you at interview. Yeah, some people are saying I'm interested in doing, you know, childcare and media studies. How do okay. they decide? So it, we don't offer childcare as a full course. That's only offered at Langley College. We offer what's called the Extended Certificate in Health and Social Care, which is the equivalency of one A-level. So if you are interested in that, you would need to look at that alongside A-level media studies, for example. So it, it is a case of thinking very carefully. But I would say, please come along to the open evening in February if you'd like to have a more individual conversation or put in an application to us and we will discuss with you what the best route is through for you. Somebody's asking what if they chose subjects and then didn't like them, can they change? I know we, so, we often have an intro day as well, don't we, to we do. try a few, we few do. things out. We do. So we will hopefully be able to run our welcome day, which takes place in the summer term. But in the first half term, students have a number of opportunities to make changes to their programme of study. We would always say to students, think really carefully about it, because it is quite difficult to make changes to your programme of study beyond that first half term. So we always say to students, if you are absolutely understand that you may come in and you do a week or a couple of weeks and think this is not the subject for me so we do have a formal course change process that operates within the first half term so please don't worry about that thank you lots of questions i'm just trying to whiz through and pick some out that um do we offer um support for people who who in terms of travel costs who may be traveling we do. somewhere we to do. get to Windsor? We do, yes. So we, um, if you are, <coughs> excuse me, eligible for the bursary scheme um, or financial support, we also offer discounts on travel as well. More information can be found about that on the website and linking into the student services links. Fiona, I believe there is a link through to um, a talk from student services about travel and finance. Yes, there is. And we'll, we'll be sending that out in the follow up email as well. And I'm just popping the link into the transport page um, on the website. And I'll also post the financial support page as well. Um, we are you. hoping to run a minibus from Maidenhead. Uh, we're trying to get yeah. that off the, off the ground <laughs> for next year. <laughs> yeah. um, OK, um, do you need to have a portfolio of artwork for the art and design courses? Um, Absolutely, if you haven't taken art at GCSE, and it is always a good idea to bring it in. So if you are invited in for a face-to-face -face interview, we do advise you to bring a portfolio of work in with you. And indeed, when you, you talk to staff, they will ask to see some of the work that you have already completed. It gives them a good understanding of your particular skills and interests, and it's a good baseline starting point. So we would always encourage students who are applying for one of our art-based courses, photography, um, film studies, the art and design courses themselves to bring that in. 
Great, thank you. Um, important question around students with EHCPs, what support do we give to them? Okay, so we have a fantastic learning support here at the department, at, sorry, at the college. Um, and the learning support team, again, we can, if that particular um, person would like to leave their individual details, we can put them in contact with our ALS manager at Windsor College. Um, we would always look at the particular requirements of the EHCP. Um, obviously, it's a case of whether or not we can at the college meet the requirements of that EHCP. We will always endeavour to do so. And if we can, that will be about an individual programme of support for that particular student. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Um, for the performing arts, are there any backstage courses available or is it all just performance? So the majority of what we run at the moment is performance based. This September, we are introducing a new arts course, which is looking at hair, makeup and um, props for uh, film, TV and theatre. So there is that new course coming online for this September. If you're interested in that, please look on the website. It's also in our um, course guide as well. But if you are particularly interested in that, would like more details. Again, if you'd like to leave your contact details, we will put you in touch with the head of department who can provide you with more information about that. Great, thank you. Um, let me just quickly check anything else. Are there, is there anything particular around the dress code at college? Um, so we don't have a uniform as such, but what we do ask students is to be respectful and mindful of the fact that we are a working environment with a whole range of a very diverse community. So we don't uh, allow students to be wearing hats or hoods inside the, the college. Uh, we are a working environment and we ask students to remember to dress appropriately as they would do for work. Um, so no beach wear, no nightclub wear. I guess that's probably but the best way in which to put it. And particularly thinking about footwear as well, which I know sounds a bit strange, but we are a college with a lot of stairs. So it's about making sure that you are safe. But it, it is just about remembering that we are a working environment and about being respectful and mindful of the fact of that environment and the fact that we are a diverse community as well so just um i guess that's the easiest way in which to put it but no set uniform great thank you um and uh class sizes so class sizes vary. Obviously, there are some subjects that are uh, more niche than others. So class sizes range from somewhere between 14 to 20. Thank you. What if you don't get the grades in your GCS in your English and maths? Is it possible to retake those? So yes, you can resit English and maths here at the college and actually anybody who doesn't grade, gain a grade four or above is required to do so, I'm afraid, by the government. So that's an absolute requirement. Um, it may impact your subject choices. So please be be mindful of that and we would encourage everybody for that reason to do the very best that they can to make sure that they do achieve that grade four um, because it may impact your subject choices and what we can offer you here at the college so again I would say please look at the website and look at the individual entry criteria for particular subjects to make sure that you're gaining what you need. Do we have any facilities for students that are interested in competitive sport alongside their A-level study? Um, so we we do run. Uh, we are part of the TAS scheme, which is run out of our Strode's campus. Um, we are offering for the first year at Windsor the BTEC uh, extended certificate in sports science at Windsor and we are planning to ensure that students can go over to our Strode's campus to take advantage of the sports facilities there on a Wednesday and Tuesday afternoon which Wednesday afternoon is college afternoon and Tuesday is um, training time so any students that are interested in that as part of their program study we, we are hoping to be able to offer that and look at that. Great, thank you. Um, are there any lessons that are mandatory for everybody to do? It doesn't matter what course you do, you have to do these. 
So, I, well, the key one there would be core studies, which is our is our tutorial program for study. So that is the, if you like, that's the centre of the rock. That's the bit that runs through everything. So every student is expected to attend core studies and to undertake the program that is associated with that. Much of that is about citizenship. It's about wider engagement. Um, it's about that focus on individual progression and next steps. We also um, talk about hot topics, so things that might be current and in the news at the moment. It is about, as I said, it's about that wider engagement with society, not only in terms of our community at Windsor College, but also the wider community as well. But that's the core subject that everybody is expected to attend. Um, I guess the only other one would be is if you have to be resitting GCSE Maths and English, that is a non-negotiable on your timetable. But your subject choices are yours to make. Great. What support do we offer for people who may have mental health or anxiety issues? OK, so we do have a, a safeguarding and wellbeing officer who is based at the college um, and we have a number of staff who are also trained up for particular um, support for those those students. We are also um, looking at providing a particular room that is a quiet room for students who may be having um a moment where they want to take some time out but it's it's ongoing support that is throughout the college community i would say because we are aware of the issues facing young people at the moment all staff are aware of those concerns and are trained and ready to help students with their particular um, concerns and it's very difficult because it varies from student to student but there is a significant amount of support in place Great, thank you very much. So just calling out for any last questions uh, that you might want to pose to Amanda. I know Karen is still answering a number here. Um, just before we finish off and wait for a couple more questions, how would you, how would you describe Windsor as a college? What, what's special about it? <laughs> how would I describe? Um, so I would describe Windsor College as it's special because it is a small community. We sit within the, the heart of Windsor. We are a sixth form specialist college and we are very much a community. We care about every single one of our students. And because we are a relatively small sixth form college, but growing, we know every single one of our students. We know their ambitions, we know their challenges, um, we know what they need in order to support them and help them. And that stems from the staff in the learning support centre to the uh, core studies team, to the student services team who provide help and support with travel and finance, to our careers advisor. Um, so Sally does an amazing job with one-to-one -one interviews with students and gets to know many of them on a, you know, on a first name basis. And that's something that's quite unique to Windsor. We are a growing sixth form provider um, and we are delighted with that. It's such an amazing place to be a part of because it has such an incredibly vibrant atmosphere there at the college. I think it's friendly, it's supportive um, and we really do have our students' success at the heart of everything that we do. I am always amazed at the brilliant work that our students produce. So whether it is the amazing performances that I have the utmost privilege to attend with our performing arts students, the incredible artwork that our students produce. And if you're walking past the front of Windsor College, you only have to look at the window displays to see the quality of the work that's produced there. Um, it's the fantastic achievements that come out of our scientists, and our mathematicians, our computer scientists who go on to fantastic places. It's the EPQ projects, again, that I have the delight to sit in sometimes and listen to. And I think it is the passion and the friendliness of our students. The thing I am most proud of about Windsor is my students. At our open evening in October, it was the amazing work of the student ambassadors who were talking with students and parents, showing them around and talking about why they were part of Windsor College that made me the most proud 
of being the principal of Windsor College because they really do tell it as it is and say, yeah, come and be a part of this because it's incredible. Yeah, I, I remember thinking that too in the evening, just so impressed with them. Um, and we're in the middle of a student satisfaction survey at the moment and the Windsor College students are very, very happy, aren't they? Um, they are. So, so that, that is a good sign when it comes directly from the students. Um, okay, so just a couple more um, questions that I'm looking at. There's a couple of specific transport questions. I have put a link um, on the on the questions for people to be able to have a look at the bus, the various bus routes and um, and, and how they might be able to travel to college. Um, how would we help to integrate people that have been homeschooled and then are coming into a college environment? OK, so somebody who has been homeschooled, obviously, we would link you up with appropriate support, which might be via our tutorial scheme so that we, we know what's there. Hopefully at the welcome day, what we would do is be able to integrate you. I think if you are coming in, you would get to know students on that welcome day because they'll be within your subject areas that you're going around. So you have an opportunity to come in and see what it's like to be a student at the college for a day. So you get an opportunity to go to each of your subjects and test out what they're like really. So an ideal opportunity to kind of slowly integrate. We run an induction program as well at the beginning of term. So again, another opportunity to come in, learn a few more faces, a few more names. Um, so there are lots of stepping stones, I guess, in terms of um, helping people to to integrate in. I think it's a conversation um, with that particular individual student and looking at what additional support we might need to put in place, which might be, it would probably be through the tutorial scheme. Yeah, so I guess when they come to interview, you can pick all Absolutely. of that up. Absolutely, Absolutely, we would, and enrolment as well. Yeah, great, thank you. Um, somebody's asking about things like free school meals, I guess if they're getting yeah. those at school now, how does that okay. work at college? Yes, we do. We do provide a scheme where we provide support for those people that would have been on free school meals. Again, that operates through the bursary scheme and the financial support that's offered here at the college. Um, that is on an individual basis. And again, that comes when you enrol with us. So once you've enrolled with us, then we can begin to process that information information. Um, we do provide that support. Unfortunately, we can't sign you up to that until you're actually enrolled here at the college, but absolutely there is financial support. And yes, we do have a canteen, or it's a cafe actually. We call it the hub. Um, it's a student area that is a sort of mixed area of tables and chairs. Um, there's some soft seating as well. Students often will stay there during the day to be working um, or that it's, it's also quite vibrant at mealtime as well. Um, I can't guarantee that they're always uh, eating what I would regard as healthy food, but <laughs> I'm, I'm not 16 anymore. But uh, yes, but the, the, it is there, wide variety of options on offer there for students, and it is there. Uh, somebody's just asking what time lunchtime is. It's quarter past 12 to one o'clock. It's 45 minutes. Yeah, great. Um, that's an interesting question just come in about um, taking laptops into college. So students are welcome to bring their own devices into college and we do have the ability for students to log onto the Wi-Fi. Um, there are, we do have a laptop leasing scheme as well that um, students can engage with. Um, and there are obviously, there are machines that are available for students to use in the learning centre and within classes as well. But students are absolutely able to bring in their own laptops and some do because it just helps in terms of where they're saving work and being being able to do that yeah great somebody's just asked can they wear makeup <laughs> uh, yes but please not overly I think <laughs> it's it's the same we don't have a set uniform but we would just ask people to be as I said before we are, we are a place of employment that's really how you need to view it that uh, that College is your place of a place of work for two years. So that's how we always present it to students. 
Great. OK. And um, so I think that's probably coming to the end of our session. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining us today. We will be following up this with um, some important links for you. Um, we'll try and summarise the main questions that have come through today. Um, so you get to revisit those. We're also recording this, so um, we will be sending you the recording as well. So if you want to show it to somebody else and a, a friend or back, back to your parents, um, then feel free to do so. Um, we look forward to you applying to us and hopefully seeing you in February. Thank you. Thanks very much, everybody.